I got a transmission here, 4L60E out of a 2000 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, issue with this thing is there's something weird rattling around inside of it, some kind of noises coming from the main case. I'm uh, not really sure what it is. Uh, you know, we'll find out shortly, but um, didn't have too many you know, drivability symptoms. I had worked on this transmission about four years ago, put a valve body in it, and uh, you know, it was, uh, uh, had P1870 trouble code, which indicated uh, the valve in the PWM bore was worn out in the valve body. And then when we tested the actuator feed limit valve, uh, we found that that was also worn out, not holding much in the way of vacuum. So. Put a new valve body in it, sent it on down the road, and uh, four years later, it's basically back for an overhaul. Uh, the fluid stinks. Uh, it's just simply worn out. I think the vehicle has something like, uh, I don't know, over 200,000 miles on it or what have you. Uh, never been rebuilt prior to, uh, to this, and the owner of the vehicle is the original owner. So anyway, I'm gonna tear it down, inspect it, and then when I go through, uh, this teardown, as I do with uh, a lot of my units uh, where there's videos of teardown inspections, I'll kind of talk through the different uh, drivability symptoms that you know you might experience when you're you know in the vehicle and, and tie them to different things inside the transmission or on the transmission so that you have an idea of like you know if something happens, what it is and uh, you know what the uh, scope of the repair will look like and whether it's something that you can fix by simply dropping the pan and replacing a part on the outside versus uh, having to overhaul the unit to you know, make it right. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I